Good morning. Uh, I when I started my website ninaso.com, I signed up with Google Analytics, and when I signed up, I chose a category for it, and I believe I chose home and garden. And a lot of time when I check my analytics, I noticed that people are more interested in my natural product. But over time, my website evolved from just talking about natural product to finances because it's all about how to save money without sacrifice, without sacrificing the quality of our lives. So. When I first started, I was talking more about the natural alternative to products out there that we use. And little by little, I include different ways of saving money as well. But then, too recently, I wanted to change the category that I selected for my Google Analytics to see if that will help with the traffic that is coming to the website. And I couldn't find out how to access that category. I tried different button without accessing it. And finally, by doing something completely different, too recently, I came across it. And I wanted to video how you can access your Google Analytics and change the category that you originally chose for your blog. Let's get started. I have my computer here and the first thing we will do is we we'll log into our blog post and I have WordPress so I use WordPress so you log into your WordPress dashboard. So I have I have it here. So I'm in my blogs dashboard here and for now we can just leave it like that. The next thing we'll do is to go to Google. So I just like to tap Google in the browser and when I have it I will type Google Analytics and I like to just select Google Analytics login and I'll choose the first one here and if you don't log out of your Google account a lot of time that will just open it for you. So we log into our Google Analytics account and let's just give it a, a few seconds to open. And as you can see here, we will go to admin way at the bottom. And I don't know if you can see it. And that's the setting icon at the bottom with the name admin. So you will click on that. And I have used the... I have opened it for a while, this Google Analytics, until recently when I change it. So now when you click on admin, it will open this main page where you have the first column is account, create account. The second one is create property and the third one is 
create view so we'll go to the second column and we'll scroll it down to property setting so let's click on that here and when you click on it you will see the industry here industry category here and that's where you'll change it but guess what if you change it here it's not going to right away change it for you so i have tried to change it to finance you can change it to finance for example but what I notice it is when you change it it's not going to automatically change it for you let's click on save and it says success so let's go back again to see if our change worked you can see here you say finance so let's get back out of it and go back in there again so we we'll tap Google and we will type Google Analytics The reason why we open the dash our dash block dashboard is in case we have to change the property, we might need to copy. In fact, I'll do that because last time I changed the property and it gave me another tracking ID that I put in my blog. But right now I'm seeing another ID number the original one so I had to copy and put it back so I will click on admin here and we'll go back to our property setting and as you can see it changed for us to finance and that's how you change the industry category that you selected or you want to select for your blog. And right now, I think that's all we do in this one. And I will, in the next video, I will show how you can copy your tracking ID number and paste it in your Dutch blog. Thank you for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune, Marinet Lieberman, creator of Marinet's YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap.com.